With kings, you show reverence, humility, honor. But I had no intention of doing that with this child. We weren't looking for a messiah, just seeking to satisfy our curiosity. You understand. Let's see if A plus B can equal C. So this curiosity led me and my companions to the one they claimed to be a king. I must tell you, I'm not moved by emotion. Skeptical for the most part. My colleagues say cynical. <laughs> Maybe they're right. I deal in logic. Maps. Stars. Books. History. So we followed the star. We found the mother and father and the boy they called Jesus in Bethlehem. Yes, I was expecting a child, but, well, there he was. The boy who drove Herod mad, who held command to armies of angels, who lured peasant shepherds away from their sole livelihood, this child they claimed to be Messiah. Like I said, I, a king in my own right, had no intention of bowing to this child. I was bound only by curiosity. But then I saw him. And I, I felt a, a fascination. Something unmistakable. Something I had never seen with my own eyes. Divinity. Since the beginning of time, kings have invented their own wild mythologies of their birth. But this king's birth was foretold by prophets long before he took his first earthly breath. Other kings spread tales to their kingdoms of their triumphs and valor. But this king said nothing. Legions of angels spoke for him. I think of him every day. How I went to satisfy my curiosity and, and found the answer I didn't know I needed. A messiah.